Okay. I've taken the removal of my brother Joe down about this far. So now what I'm going to do... Let me zoom in here a little bit. I'm going to ha go ahead and flatten these layers. Merge them together. And I'm going to go back up to the top here. Where I first started. I'm going to repair this little defect here in the wood by once again using the blemish remover. Let's change the size of this down a good bit here. That's too small. Perhaps just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom out a touch. And I'm going to grab a bigger piece of that wall. Using once again the polygon selection tool. I'm just going to select a bigger chunk of this wood. All the way down here like this. And across like that. And all the way back up. selection and just take this down and basically try to estimate where this should be. We're going to go with that right now but of course we need to elevate my brother Pete above it. Like that more, I think. We want to make sure that we we have a nice long piece here. We may still need to do two pieces just to finish off the photograph at the bottom. So we're going to turn this off for a moment. And once again, we are going to attempt. Actually, first I believe we'll just remove some more of my brother Joe here. By going back to our background layer. Choosing a new region. I just want to remove some more of this arm that's close to my brother Pete's arm. So that when I select my brother Pete to raise him to a new layer, it'll be a lot easier to select him. Sometimes in here, it's e it's easier just to do um, individual clicks 
instead of trying to draw that will be good enough to do what we need done now go back here a little bit and we're going to flood select his arm We'll increase this number. And we're going to want to get yep, and do that. Try to get his pants at the same time. There we go. The only important line is this line right here. Making sure that we have this area covered. So we're going to take that and again we're going to uh, take that and raise it up to its own layer. Like that. You can turn the selection off now. And we're going to turn this back on and drag it down below. That once again effectively cuts off part of this, uh, part of Joe's body so that I don't have a lot of work to do, you know, trying to fine tune that. I am going to make sure it looks pretty good. It looks like it's lined up very well. So now I can go in, zoom back in here, and finish off erasing my brother Joe. I'm going to select up here. Once again, turn off the line, let's get on the right layer first, you'll make mistakes too, believe me. It's almost impossible to do something like this without making a lot of mistakes. Please keep this out. I'm going to pause again until I have this completely done and I'll be back in a few seconds. Now, I'm going to duplicate the layer that has my piece of wood on it. Just like that. And I'm going to move it down until it goes out of the bottom of the picture or that just matches the bottom. We're gonna go we're gonna go all the way down like that. Go back to our background. Really zoom in now on this last piece at the bottom. 
take our climbing tool. I'm gonna shrink this up a little bit, man. Make sure we can wipe this all the way out. On this edge of my brother's Pete's pants, we are going to just blur that a little bit. We don't need a brush that size to do it. We'll need to go up here to do it though. Just to smooth it out a little bit. Maybe blur the edge of his arm here a touch. Just like that. Take a good long look at everything. And I think you'll agree. There was just a few more touches here and there, a little bit of fine tuning. You can remove anything from a photograph. It just takes some patience and uh, some uh, thoughts, deep thoughts about the structure of the background and how much work it's going to be to reconstruct. So there you have it. Hopefully this will be helpful.